How do you avoid becoming overwhelmed too often? Now, as I teach you this one, I got four big ideas for you here, but I wanna first clarify, there's a little bit of difference between overwhelm and burnout, right? Overwhelm in the moment you feel kind of flooded with obligation in that moment where you feel like you just can't handle everything. Burnout is you've been handling everything for too long and now you're just wasted away, exhausted. Sometimes it's both, but I wanna let you know, I've got another episode on how to avoid burnout and that's gonna be a little different than today. How do you over, uh, avoid overwhelm? That in the moment sense that you can't handle it all, right? So hopefully we can make sure you, you're, you avoided burnout and now we're in the moment. Now it's like, okay, there's a lot coming at you today. How do you go through the day without feeling completely overwhelmed by all the obligations that you got on your plate? I hope first and foremost that you've been saying no You've been you know, keeping your boundaries set, that you're only taking on things that you really wanna take on, that you're managing your own life's agenda. If any of that sounds foreign to you, please read my book, The Motivation Manifesto. Get your life back, okay? Begin there, get life back. Then let's talk about the overwhelm in the moment. First, I love to share that it's necessary to start your day organized. A lot of overwhelm comes because all of a sudden you, you, you're, you're distracted or you're reacting to everybody. So in the moment you feel like, I gotta write this email, I gotta take this call, I'm doing these three projects, I don't know when I'm gonna do them today, so everything feels like, ugh. If you block your time out well during the day, and most importantly, you begin that day knowing what the day is about, that will help you minimize daily overwhelm. Like get up in the day, I like to get up in the day and I do my morning routines where I, I stretch or work out, I get lots of water, I write down everything I want to uh, work through that day, follow my one page productivity sheet. If you haven't seen that, just go online and type in one page productivity sheet with my name and it'll pop up. And you know, I organize my day so much. It doesn't mean that sometimes that day doesn't get blown out of the water by some emergency, but that's very rare because I saw most of those emergency come because I, I'm planning ahead. But starting the day on a place of just security, a place of certainty, a place of this is what I want this day to be about, that will automatically help you deal with those moments of overwhelm because you'll know what's next. That you'll know what's coming uh, you know, next in terms of your obligations or that next hour of block time to get things, things done. Trust me. Start the day organized. You'll be so happy that you did that. Also, to manage day-by-day -day overwhelm, here's what I want you to do. Between your major projects or the major times of, you know, that you've blocked out to do things, in between, transition well. If you're going from project A to project B during the day, let's say project A was you're replying to all your emails. Now project B is you have to create a, a presentation. In between those, give yourself a time to reset. It's very important. Give yourself a time to reset. If you go from into one project, into another one, and you're smashing all your projects together during the day, you're just gonna be like, your brain's not having its time to break from one to start the other, and your brain needs that silence in between those projects to bring full focus and creativity. Otherwise, your mind starts wandering between all the projects and you get overwhelmed. Make sense? So having a break in between projects helps. For me personally, I do a 10 to 15 minute meditation between my major projects. So for example, if we finish this video and I had to go create a PowerPoint or a keynote presentation, I'd finish this video, I'd go and I'd sit, close my eyes, I'd do a 15 minute release meditation technique, and then I'd begin. If you haven't studied my work on that, I've been blessed to train a million people on meditation now, just type in my name and release meditation technique. You can learn how to do that on YouTube. Very, very simple technique. For you, it might be take a quick nap or take a walk around the block or around the office, but give yourself a mental break between projects and that overlapping overwhelm will start to go away. I think next, you know, it's about giving yourself the ability to catch up at the end of the day. I know if during the day there's so many things going on, I'm freaking out, I don't worry about it because I'm gonna give myself a block of time at the end of the day, I just call catch up time. It's every day before dinner for me. No matter what, before my dinner, I take 30 minutes to sit down 
and catch up. I literally sit down and go, okay, what do I need to make sure I catch up on? I only have 30 minutes. What do I need to catch up on? Is it replying to three or four emails specifically? Is it finishing those last three slides of the presentation? Is it making those two quick phone calls? I give myself that time and I know it's there every day. It's like my safety zone. At the end of the day, right before dinner, doesn't matter, I'm gonna take 30 minutes to catch up. So even if I feel overwhelmed in the moment, I go, it's okay, I got the safety time. Tonight, I'll catch up on it. So before I start to cook dinner or before we go out to dinner, uh, I just take that 30 minutes and it's like a religion for me. It's like just that time and it makes me throughout the day so much more fluid and able to know that I will catch up. And here's the last one. Maybe it's not so strategic or, or routine based as these other ones, but it's very simple. You need to at some point as a mature adult, someone who wants to reach that next level of consciousness in your life, you need to decide to bring a little bit more emotional peace, mindfulness, conscious will about the emotions you're experiencing each day. If you're constantly finding yourself in a panic or freaking out about other things, it's like you need to decide that you want a character that's stronger than that. You know, it used to be a part of the conversation in character development. You know, you look back in the centuries of philosophy or human development, and people took pride in learning to be stoic or being calm amid the storm, to be the leader when everything's going chaotic, that someone would stand strong and, and be there and purposely decide to deal with all the chaos from a good place. Now, it's like our, our culture celebrates victimhood or our culture celebrates the person who is the drama queen who freaks out about every little thing because it's fun to watch on reality TV. But in real life, make it a goal to have character development, to meet the demands of the time, the demands of the moment from a place of peace or strength or joy, from a good place, an emotional state that's going to serve in the situation that you have chosen versus being that person who just gets overwhelmed. Oh my God, da, 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 da. I think the world is so full of so many people trying to be drama queens to get attention versus people trying to be role models to say, look, we can handle this. And that, that old sort of, that, that, that old ethic that came from stoicism or that old ethic that came from, you know, just mastering your own mind, mastering your own attitude. We've lost a lot of that conversation. So I'm always having that in these Charge Life episodes with you. You are the commander of your own attitude. You get to choose the energy that you feel and bring into moments. You don't have happiness, you don't have joy, you choose to generate those things. And the more you generate the emotional energy you need in a moment to serve or deal with the complications, the difficulties, the overwhelm, the more that you are the person who stands true and solid and purposeful in the moments that matter, not only do more people look to you to lead, not only do more people look to you with, with just they look at you at a place of like respect, but you start to respect yourself. You say, I got this, I can handle this. And the more you say that, the less you feel overwhelmed and the more you experience the charge life. Hey guys, it's Brendan. Did you like this episode? If you did, you can do three things right now to continue your journey. First, you can subscribe right here to my channel, which I hope you will so I can keep sending you videos on a weekly basis to change your life. Second, you can get my brand new book for free by clicking the link right here. And third, you can also go to my website, sign up for my newsletter so that I can send you free offers, free products, free programs, updates on my events, new podcasts, and everything else that we don't do on this channel here. If you like to do that, just go ahead and click any of these buttons you see right here. Look forward to seeing you on the next video. Until then, go out there every single day of your life, live fully, love openly, and make your difference today.